Hey, everybody. So glad to have you on board. Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. A lot of us are still spending time right here in our homes, watching movies on streaming services and frankly, wherever we can get them. The question is, which ones should be on your list next? Movie critic Mark Reardon, also of KMOX fame locally here in St. Louis, joins us. Mark, it's actually nice to have some new movies to talk about, and you wanted right out of the gate to get to this movie called 7500. Tell me about it. Yeah, this is a movie that stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the co-pilot of a flight that gets hijacked by Islamic terrorists. And you know, if we're being honest here, it's been tough to do movies like this since 9-11 because obviously everything changes. It's set modern day, but this is a really interesting, tight little thriller. It's only about an hour and 22 minutes. It's streaming on Amazon today, hmm. and it's very unconventional. I kind of like that. It's not your typical glossy Hollywood movie, but it really is a good thriller. And th they do this in a way that really grabs you, even from the very beginning scenes, which are a little harrowing, and you don't know exactly what road this is going to take you down. But I really liked it. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt is really perfectly cast here. So that's one that I can recommend if you like, you know, because I think even in the summer months, Love Matt, it. we're, we're kind of light on the adult thriller. You got an adult thriller here that I think people right. will like. Not a thriller, but uh, certainly a surprise, I think, maybe for some critics is the next one you wanted to mention, and that's King of Staten Island. You know, you remember a couple of Fridays ago I was here and I wasn't technically allowed to say yeah. what I thought about it because they had an embargo. I cheated a little and gave you, a, I think, a head shake. Uh, I liked it, and it says yeah. a lot because I don't like Pete Davidson very much. It's based on, somewhat based on his life, semi-autobiographical Judd Apatow's movie. It's not really a straight comedy, but for, again, for adults that are looking for something maybe to dig their teeth in, and there are funny moments, and you got a great cast here, Bill Burr, stand-up comedian. He's an actor, too. You know, we've seen him over the years. Marissa Tomei was fantastic, so I really, really liked The King of Staten Island. Matt, I'm not so sure that that's not going to be a movie. This year's going to be weird because a lot of releases pushed. That's going to make my uh, my end of the yeah. year list potentially. Now, we may have to do a top five and not wow. a top ten, you know? Yeah, oh, I totally get it. The pickings are, are, are a little slim. But I got to tell you, Disney Plus decided to launch Artemis Fowl exclusively on their streaming service. I was really stoked about this, man. I'm kind of invested in this. My kids have read all the books. I've heard some of the audiobooks. What did you think? It's a complete and utter disaster and i was so confused because <laughs> kenneth branagh yeah. is the director here and yeah this is a I movie know. that has a big following heading in because of the books i kept watching this thinking what what is going on what am i missing and you know matt in fairness you yeah. we've done this a long time every once in a while there's a disconnect and i think did people like this movie and i'm an outlier last i checked it was 11 percent on rotten tomatoes yeah. it just doesn't work it's a hodgepodge movie it's not interesting enough for little kids you know you have well you have kids of all ages let's face it because you got so many but yeah. it also kind of doesn't really <laughs> appeal to the older teens either in the way i think that the books no. did so it's really really a terrible movie as good as staten island is it might be on a list at the end of the year this one will be on that opposite list yeah. Ouch. I'm an easy crowd to please, Mark. You know that. And and I felt the same way. This was a swing and a miss. And it's a shame because with the source material, it could have been the next Harry Potter. But I thanks so shocked. much for the time, man. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you again soon. Yeah. Don't forget, you can listen to Mark weekday afternoons on KMOX 1120.